Tiggy from the IH Experience and I'm here to introduce this year's Christmas deal. Off the back of a really great selling season, we're excited to release two demo vehicles for sale which are part of the Christmas Cracker deal. The two vans which are included in this are the IH 630RD and the IH 680 CFL which is the one behind me. CFL is a front lounge based on the VW Crafter and the Fiat 630RD is a rear lounge format which has got a big u-shaped lounge at the back three presents to choose from first present is an accessory bundle so you can personalize the motorhome make it completely your own with accessories that you want to add on to it the second present is a screen deal price which can be negotiated with your salesperson the third present is a mystery box which can be a gift that's completely personal to you call Nicola to get this deal right so we have got this 630 RDRL which is our rear lounge model, which is our most popular model over the years. In this one, it's a different timber finish to the S4 that we've been looking at previously. Factory swivels, shape lounge. Two single beds, or big king size. You can use the front as a genuine little front mini lounge and you can leave your bed down as a fixed bed. Lockers around the top, rear speakers, leather rolls around the top. This model has got the back doors on. Again, S5 windows. Lighting throughout. It's all dimmable. You've got the touch. Night light, just so you can see around. Three burner, an electric, grill, oven. Hand storage. Sink with drainer, metal tap. One of the beauties of this, you can leave your bed down and still get to everything else in your van. Centrally, we've got your toilet and shower. Lovely, cosy rear lounge. You've got a combination of single beds or a big king size bed. Also, because you've got this lovely little area at the front, you can leave the bed down and still use the rest of your van. Rear lounge models, we do the two rear doors or the full panel, which we'll be showing you at a later date. Most people have a tow bar with a bike rack that goes onto the tow bar. When you sit in a place, uh, whether it be a house, room or anywhere, you like to feel comfortable. That's why people pick colors, your tables, your finish, your look. I think it's important to feel comfortable. You can see here, We've picked out the interior colours, put it on the exterior. We do that just to add a little bit of colour on the white bands in particular. We've got a 2.3 180. Again, 99% of our vehicles are built on the maxi chassis. Still three and a half ton, but a maxi chassis, which gives you more payload towards the rear of the vehicle. I think this is a safe start, this van. People when they buy different layouts, have different, have had different vehicles in the past and uh, influenced by uh, habits and things like that. But this is a safe bet as this. Having said that, the FL model, which has got the front lounge L shape, has its own benefits and has a bigger bathroom. And if, that, if that's your thing, the bigger bathroom, a lot of the ladies like the bigger bathroom and the space, the elbow room in there, then that sways towards that front lounge. First of the VW 680 models, and this is the 680 CFL. Let's go have a look. So, we've got the exterior. This is in white. We do lots of different colours, uh, personal colours, or wraps, or different tints in the decals down the side. So, this is the front lounge model, as you can see. The space is at the front, rear bathroom, galley and midships. Swiveling seats at the front. Let's start at the front. I've got the usual DW refinements. Anybody with a VW car will notice it's very similar uh, to a modern car these days, both in the steering wheel and the setup of the dash. 
the layout and everything and the large touch screen so as you can see we've got an l-shaped front settee here which uh, a lot of people buy this model because uh, obviously for the view the views in a sliding door if you don't have the end class is really open right so uh, this turns into a, a, a bed a double bed six foot two by four foot six wide simply take the two cushions remove the l-shaped corner cushion pull the bed out this is velcroed down and the makeup cushion is in the rear over over the l-shaped settee stroke bed we've got storage you can have shelves in there or dividers it's down to the individual here we have the truma controls and the cb unit that covers most of the uh, amenities in the van the electrics etc etc over the other corner we've got the uh, table storage down here and we've got uh, the tv stored away here which rises hydraulically this also as you can see moves around so you can see it either on the front seats or on the seat. simply goes back down and you've got your 240 socket there and you've got the usb for charging either computers and also a bit of a bit more uh, work surface and work surface there the beauty about this is that all this is quite close together and also that you can actually walk through comfortably opposite the galley we have a raised fridge three-way fridge which is easy if you've got a bad back or anything like that it's really easy to get up and down and, and get in there comfortably and then above the fridge we've got two drawers where you can put crockery set in or cutlery set storage above the drawers storage above the TV company. As we move around to the galley, sink with drainer, steel tap, three burner in this one, but you can have three burner or four burner, depends on what you're used to or what your requirements are. Below, we've got oven with grill and storage around the bottom, pots and pans. Moving to the rear, we've got the double door, which enables us to make it wider than standard. So you can get in and out of the bathroom easier. We've got the large round sink. You can have the smaller sink if required, the 300. This is the 400. Steel tap again. Storage above. Wardrobe this side on this particular one we've got shelves in and hanging rail but you can have a full hanging rail or all shelved out depends again on the individual and to this side double door more storage uh, as standing in all our models uh, for practicalities we've got vinyl flooring underneath the removable carpets you've got a choice of over cab locker which some people like or you can leave it open so people have more space and the feeling of space and when you get in in and out of the cab area you don't knock your head we built this on the vw 6.8 meter van uh, because the fiat version on the 6.3 meter van were a very good uh, seller for us and this has been the same we're getting people that buy this from the larger coach builds but still get a, a feel of a, a car drive. The usual uh, halo lighting in the ceiling, again, which is dimmable. And we've got the, again, unique lighting, flush lighting under the cabinets uh, in that side. Again, dimmable. We do a freestanding table in this particular model, so you can use it outside or around the back. People's uh, perception of this vehicle actually is open space 
uh, as compared to kind of a tunnel feel on the real lounges and kind of a midships uh, toilet bathroom. You get two different layouts, two different things completely because what you have in one, the other one is kind of full of boxes so you've got a little bit more storage and a little bit less open but this particular one the front seat is open so you've got a little bit less storage but more openness and and you gain you win and gain from that point of view got the fixed panel on this particular model you can have it with the doors or without the doors got electric opener solid really strong room in here down here for uh, chocks tables chairs etc etc and we've got other things around here uh, for usually people put the little toolkit then things like that or slot the chairs and tables having uh, the bathroom across the rear of the vehicle enables you uh, to gain some space underneath the wardrobe because we could have done the wardrobe a bit lower but this is designed specifically for chair sizes table sizes LPG gas, water inlet, and we've got the Truma exhaust. We've also got the hookup on this side, so it's on the blind side of the vehicle, winning on the site, so we're not tripping over the cable. But we've got the LED running light, which uh, in my mind make quite a bit of difference to the look of it, uh, like a modern car basically. We, we tend to find that uh, people have uh, got a, a following of the VW. The typical buyer for this van we're finding at the moment is people coming up from the VW pop top lifting roof kind of camper vans and down from your Hymas, Cathargos, Pilots, A classes, and large coach built. So they're getting plenty of room in a more car like vehicle. Uh, we've got the awning on, including the awning light, full strip light, which gives you an even light on the night about the awning area. Biggest strength is the bathroom area. The rear bathroom area is more like a changing room. The ladies tend to like it. You shut those doors, you've got everything in there. You're not in and out getting bits and bats. Uh, you've got your clothes in there, all your toiletries, towels, shower. You can do the job lot in there. And I think that's a winner. A real selfish two births. I mean selfish by, uh, it's not dominated by any passenger carrying seats in the back. Doing that, you're able to create more space with a usable bed, with a good midships galley and a fantastic bathroom. The 680 CFL.